1998. So I played football, I ran track with CJ, and also uh, Cora Jones. And so I'd like to everyone give a round of applause to CJ and everybody who put this event together. I think this is very awesome and very much needed. I'm a mentor, author, inspirational speaker. I've written two books. My first book is called The Courage to Believe, which I talk about my experience in Palm Beach and growing up in Broward County. And my second book is called Seven Types of Queens, King Desire, which is a relationship self-help book. As a matter of fact, I have some flyers for my upcoming event on December 9th called The Golden Love and Relationships Panel, where we'll be having some speed dating and a lot of fun. So uh, grab a flyer back there at the table. I had to say that before I, I come and say what I really want to say. Because if you don't say what you're going to talk about in the beginning, you end up forgetting. So, Back Home also hosts an annual event called the Black on Black Crime Solutions Panel. We've been doing it since 2014. Uh, next year will be our fifth annual event, and hopefully we can bring it here to Palm Beach County. And the reason why I started that program is because I have roughly about 15 to 20 of my friends, family members as well, that are either dead, locked up in prison, serving life sentences, or it's, you know, serving a crazy amount of time, 10, 20, 15, 30, 60 years in prison. And we titled it Black on Black Crime because that's what's going on. Now we're here because of Corey Jones's death, which was you can label it white on black crime, police brutality, but a lot of people don't understand and fail to realize that black on black crime stems from white on black crime. You know, from being on the plantations, I don't know, this might be an old plantation itself, this farm here, but uh, years of discrimination, racism, and the political, social, economic situation of majority of black people in America in the ghettos. So that causes crime to take place, and you're gonna, cause pain or rob the person next to you or that's closest to you. And it's not that there aren't any crime going on in the white community, it's just that there's too many of our brothers killing each other. Since 1980 to 2013, there's been over 260,000 deaths at the hands of a black male to another black male or female. And so these stats, you know, you really just can't sweep it under the rug and act like it's not going on. In comparison to Vietnam, there was only, well, Vietnam was from 1955 to 1975, am I correct? The Vietnam War? Is, is that right? Any war events in here? I've seen a few people nod their heads. Well, from, from that 20 year time span, there was only 58,000 deaths of American soldiers. Now, you're talking about uh, a situation, a world where it's designated to kill each other. They out in the, the fields and the jungles. But here in America, in the streets, you know, we have over 260,000 brothers killing one another. And so after reading a book uh, some years ago by an author named Dr. Amos Wilson, I don't know if anyone ever heard of his name, but he's a uh, black child psychologist and also Pan-Africanist. He wrote a book called Black on Black Violence Black self-annihilation in service of white domination. That's the whole title. Let me repeat that again. Black on black violence, black self-annihilation in service of white domination. And so after reading that book and having so many of my friends and family in prison, some of them from killing another black male, it made me want to do something because I'm educated. I have a college degree, written two books, um, I have a documentary. And so I feel as if God was telling me to do something. You see a problem? You see nothing's being done about it, go ahead and do something about it. Right? Just can't sit there and complain about a problem when you see that it's happening right before your eyes. I wish I could do something or help do something regarding to what happened to Cora Jones or the young lady, Mrs. Woods, um, Arletta Woods, who died in the Indian River, um, Little Ayanna up in Detroit, Mike Brown. Um, the names and list goes, you know, on and on and on. But we have to take care of our community within the black community first before we can think that we can make a dent what's going on with the police brutality. Because if we're not respecting each other, then the police system is not gonna respect us. And that's where I'm coming from with it. Oh, is that again, brother? Oh, okay, you're talking about the vegan food. Um, but that's what I wanted to say. My nonprofit organization 
that hosts the Black on Black Crime Suicide Panel, and also we have the C2B Chess Club and Mentoring Program. Our nonprofit is called Courage to Believe International. We do have a 501c3. We're hoping to bring the, um, the Crime Suicide Panel here in Palm Beach County with sponsors and partnerships. So if anybody's interested in reaching out to me, I'm going to be here for a while. So just come and talk to me. My website is kevindorval.com and also thecouragetobelieve.com. And one time for Corey Jones again, and I hope that we can curb the violence that's going on within our communities and also the police brutality, because it doesn't seem as if it is gonna happen, especially with the president that we have in place right now. We really don't care. So the people in here, people like you all in here, us, we make the difference. We matter. Uh, God bless and have a good one. And that was excellent. I, I wouldn't expect.